everyone, my name is Wedge, and today I've got some more awesome altered R for you guys to drool over and be envious of whoever owns these pieces. It sounded better in my head. Mm. Our first artist this week is Stefan. We'll begin with this cool extended art on a well in Nakato. What I find particularly interesting about this is that he chose to overlap part of the name box, but not the whole thing. You don't see that often. It makes the left side of the card look completely different from the right. It's clever. Speaking of art we don't see often, his next piece is this volcanic island. We rarely get to see truly abstract altars, and this one is amazing. From the shapes to the colors, everything about this is aesthetically pleasing. You want an altar that'll grab someone's attention? You can't go wrong with the abstract. Next up, we have Long Lead. His first altar is of a Boros Reckoner. Not gonna lie, kinda nerding out right now. Classic Mario World, the dude has a hammer, there's a bob on. He even put blocks beneath the mana cost. I mean, seriously, how cool is that? It's always nice to see more playful altars. His next piece is Gilded Lotus. It took me a while to even notice there are pipes and blocks coming up from the bottom. I mean, that fire flower. What I find most amusing is applying the flavor text to the altar itself, because in all honesty, fire flowers are pretty beautiful and easily provide enough power to win wars. Just saying. The last artist we're going to look at today does something a bit different with their altars. Third Dimension does 3D altering. I don't even know where to begin trying to talk about the mimeoplasm. The 3D has done astonishingly well, especially the attention to detail in the eye and teeth. This is just a whole other level of awesome. The second 3D altar from Third Dimension is this Kalia of the Vast. I mean, come on, look at those wings. Are you serious? I wouldn't want to play against this in Commander. I play a card, my opponent plays a visual effect. It's beautiful and intimidating at the same time. 3D altars should get more exposure. These things are sweet. This might be one of the strongest weeks we've had on this show. Which altars did you guys like? I'm torn. I honestly can't decide. All three artists were insane. Remember, if you or someone you know is an artist that likes altering cards and wants them showcased, check the description below for directions on how to enter. You deserve to have your work spotlighted. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manosaurus. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.